Have you ever pondered the intricate relationship between trust and reality? How our perception of reality often hinges on trust, and how trust is so often rooted in our perception of reality? An intriguing paradox, isn't it? Imagine a world where trust is a commodity. A world where every interaction, every relationship, every piece of information is scrutinized and evaluated based on a trust quotient. It sounds overwhelming indeed, but that's not far from the reality we live in today. Trust is a fundamental aspect of human relationships. It's the unseen glue that holds societies together, the silent contract that allows us to live and work together. But trust is a delicate balance. It's not black and white. It exists in shades of gray. There's the trust we place in individuals, our family, friends, colleagues. It's personal, emotional, and it carries a significant weight. This trust is often built over time through shared experiences and mutual understanding. It's a form of trust that's deeply rooted in our perception of reality. Then, there's the trust we place in institutions, governments, corporations, the media. This form of trust is more systemic, more impersonal. It's based on a belief in the system, in the structures that govern our lives. It's a form of trust that's shaped by societal norms and expectations. But trust is not a static entity. It evolves, it adapts, and it can be broken. The reality we perceive is often a reflection of the trust we hold. If trust is broken, our sense of reality can shatter, causing us to question everything we thought we knew. On the other hand, reality also shapes trust. Our experiences, our knowledge, our understanding of the world around us, all influence who and what we trust. When our reality changes, our trust can shift, creating a ripple effect that can change everything from personal relationships to societal structures. So what does this mean in the context of our lives? What happens when trust is eroded, when reality is questioned? It creates a sense of uncertainty, a feeling of instability. It can lead to a breakdown of societal norms, a loss of faith in institutions, and a deep sense of disillusionment. But it's not all doom and gloom. Trust can be rebuilt, reality can be redefined. It requires open dialogue, transparency, and accountability. It requires a willingness to listen, to understand, and to change. It's a process, a journey, but it's one worth undertaking. To wrap up, the relationship between trust and reality is a complex one. Trust shapes our reality, and reality shapes our trust. It's a delicate balance, one that requires constant nurturing and reassessment. But in the end, it's a fundamental aspect of our lives, one that shapes our relationships, our societies, and our understanding of the world around us. So, the next time you find yourself questioning your reality or your trust, remember this. Trust and reality are not fixed entities. They are fluid, ever-changing, and ultimately, they are in our hands.